I think it was fantastic to get the CAR-T program in. It was something we've been missing in our programs uh, in Career Family Services and now we've got the opportunity to support the families that we've been missing. For the CAR-T program to work, there is BADAC being the local ACO, uh, CAFS running the CAR-T program and of course a navigator that sits in the Department of Family, Fairness and Health. Uh, their job is to allocate and assign clients across to us. Um, I think that's working really well. The qualities of KFT um, I think is being able to work um, in the unborn space. So previously um, I, my thoughts are that it's a missed, you know, we can be supporting our girls, you know, that are young and having babies and may have grown up um, in the system themselves and scared that their babies are going to be removed. I think in realistic terms, um, the girls that we've got in the program at the moment um, they wouldn't have their babies in their care um, if it wasn't for KFT. Um, I think, you know, we're dealing with generations of change and generations of um, judgment on these girls too, you know, because they were removed, it's automatically thought that the baby should be removed and, um, you know, we're just working against that and for these girls. With us walking beside them and, you know, encourage them that they can do do this, um, it gives them an opportunity, you know, after the baby's born, to keep the baby. And that's the ultimate goal. And I think um, mm. in the past, they haven't always been given the chance. And um, yeah, this gives these girls a chance. Yeah, so the barriers we've noticed was the training modules being very mainstream written and it wasn't going to work with their families. Yeah, and some of the training modules, as we read them, it was quite uncomfortable to read them. Some of the things, the considerations that were put in there for Aboriginal families, and yeah, it just didn't sit right with us, and um, we took it to our management, and it was, um, yeah, that's all changing, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so that's, you know, that was a really amazing achievement that, and, and proof that if something doesn't feel right, we sort of have to go with that. And um, yeah, because at the end of the day, it means better support for our families. Definitely, and I think it's the partnership we've got with CAFS yeah. alongside us has been fantastic because they've been able to take what we've expressed on board. Yeah, yeah. And working along us with the change. They've been really receptive and really respectful that they know that we need to work differently um, and they're happy for that to happen, um, yeah, it's a partnership, but it's a very respectful yeah. partnership. So I think with, um, you know, in past history with young, young girls having babies, um, there's always that fear of child protection involvement. Yeah. Um, and I think KFT, you know, so far what we've found is um, it's a really good intervention for that space, I think. Like, we can be that, you know, in-between person of child protection and the young mum, um, because as past history shows, it's very, you know, and, it, and it's hard to say, but it's very, it has been very easy for those babies to be um, an unborn report put on them, um, and, you know, even at the labour ward, yeah. We're getting Before. a chance now to break that cycle. Yeah. We've known, you know, babies have got orders put on them as soon as they're born. If we can be in that space advocating for the girls and supporting those girls, um, you know, it, it's just going to, it's, it's going to help change the cycle, we hope. Yeah, I think for me, like, I'm really looking forward to seeing the program in 12 months time and also um, seeing seeing the babies still with their mums is you know the ultimate goal and you know, there might be hiccups along the way but we can walk beside them and you know work through that. Um, definitely the support, um, the support from the program has been amazing especially coming into motherhood for the first time being a single mum I was very worried about um, you know just the, all the struggles that you know you face as being a single parent um, so the support there has just been absolutely amazing. I've never felt alone. It's scary. It is a very scary thing to feel um, 
especially as a 21 year old who is, you know, at the time I was 29 weeks pregnant, um, I didn't really have many people other than the support of my mum, who obviously, you know, also has a life herself. Um, so, with, yeah, I, don't, I feel like without KFT, I would probably be a very lost situation at the moment. Um, they've just, yeah, they've helped me so much that, you know, with support, you know, getting me to and from places, um, you know, like, I just, they've never let me struggle. So, um, and that's been amazing, yeah. Definitely a lot different to what it was six months ago. Um, you know, I've got a really good head on my shoulders now. I know that, you know, with the with, with a little bit of help, I can do anything. Um, I can be a really good mum, and that was one of the things I feared, you know, at the start was I was really wasn't sure if I could do it. Um, but, you know, now I know that I am capable of that and I can achieve anything that I really want to, and as long as I put my mind to it, um, you know, like nothing is impossible.